welcome everyone in my youtube channel educated gmail guys in today's video we will be talking about how to organize or how to manage the responses in the google form so let's start the today's topic this test form one this is the google form that i have prepared in the previous videos so at the top you can see there is a question and yes by this side you can see these responses so what you need to do is you need to click in the responses after that you will get the plus sign almost like a plus sign over here that's the sign of google seed so what you can do here is just click over here when you click over here yes now your responses are loading in google seed yes now you can see the time you can see the email address your score and the questions in this way so this is how you will get the responses in the google forms but in real classroom definitely there are many many students more than 100 students are giving a test or let's say more than 50 students are giving a test and maybe they are from the different sections and definitely at that time it will be really difficult for you to organize that data or organize that all the things so in this video i will give you idea about each and everything uh, about the google responses uh, from by that idea you can easily organize and manage your files so i will go to the one of the example uh, okay here this is the google form that i have done with my that i had done with my students so for this what you need to do is yes in the same way you will go to the responses you can see there are the 78 responses and let's click over here to view the responses in google seeds you can see here uh, the responses right you can see the name of the student you can see their class over here everything is very much random and it's really really time consuming to go for each and every single student it's really difficult so what you need to do here is suppose let's go for the section just select that column after selecting the column you can see there is a data over here just click on the data yes after that yes you can see here sort the sheet by column a to g then just click over here when you click here you can see that the data this is arranged according to the section that means now you can figure out the students score according to the section but still you you could have a problem even your name the name of the student is still it is not alphabetically arranged so similarly what you can do is you again select the column and go to the data after that yes you can sort the c by column c a to g just do this one click over here when you click here yes the name is arranged at the same time here the class is not arranging so what you need to do is just to go over here again and just do the same thing now finally you can see that even the name of the students is alphabetically arranged even the section is alphabetically arranged so this is how you can easily organize your data in the google forms or in the google seeds so this is how the responses can be easily managed so if you want to look the individual options or answers uh, done by the individual student then you can go over here just drag over here yes and accordingly you can see over here so this is how guys uh, just what you need to do here is you need to just click in the in that column which you want to arrange them in alphabetical order and yes simply go to the data and just do e to g or g to a at each up to your choice so in that in this way you can easily organize your data and so that you can copy from there and you can switch you can keep it in your notebook or even in the other difference it's up to your choice so guys this is how you can easily organize or manage the responses in google form thank you everyone guys if you love my video then don't forget to share it and yes if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive the notification for the future videos bye bye all see you next video